Please pay attention to L Builder today. So L is on our background, history, symptoms, prevention, treatment, future research, opinions, conclusions of our saw, and then I will open up to my to acknowledgments and then I'll open up to any comments, questions, and constructive criticism. Vocabulary. Ubiquitous. It is found everywhere in the world. Alpha herpes. Um, reproduce quicker than other subfamily of herpes radiae. Herpes radiae, the family group of herpes viruses. Bramia, when the virus is present in the blood. Lesions, an infected or diseased area of the skin. And the sensory nerve ganglion, which is a group of nerve cells located outside the spine. Background. Virus is a scientific term for chicken pox. It is a viral infection, infection where a person develops extremely itchy rashes and blisters in all parts of the body. It is an infection that derives from Varicel zoster virus, or VZV. Varicel zoster virus is an ubiquitous human alpha herpes virus that causes varicella and herpes zoster. Origin. Varicel zoster virus comes from the herpes radiae family. It is a family of eight different herpes viruses. The viruses can infect both humans and animals, however, varicella is only found in humans. It is a common virus found in any human bloodstream. The name chickenpox originates from the rash resembling chicken pecks on the skin. <coughs> Here's a diagram of the herpes radio family, and then these are the three subfamilies. It consists of alpha herpes, beta herpes, and gamma herpes. Varicella zoster is located in alpha herpes, and the alpha herpes differentiates from the two other subfamilies because it reproduces faster. History. Incidents of varicella zoster virus have been found since ancient times. These incidents are what we identify today as varicella and herpes zoster. Varicella was first suggested to be connected to herpes zoster as both being infections from varicella zoster virus in 1888. This connection provided a big breakthrough in finding vaccines for both infections. The connection was officially proven in the 1950s. New vaccines were created in 1974. One of these vaccines is acyclovir, which was made in 1980. These vaccines had a huge impact on prevention and treatment for the infection, and Varicella zoster virus's DNA sequence was completely understood in 1986. These factors now help future research. Discovery. Giovanni Filippo was the first to classify chickenpox as its own infection. He was a Sicilian physician in the 1600s of Italy, and he was the first to describe the infection. Here's an image of Giovanni Filippo. In England during the 1600s to 1700s, these two men made the breakthrough in England for chickenpox. This is Richard Morton, and he's a distinguished physician who gave chickenpox its name. This is William Pemberton, who was the first in England to completely distinguish chickenpox as its own infection. <coughs> Location. Varicella zoster virus and varicella are both found worldwide because where varicella zoster virus is, then the var then varicella infection is sure to occur. Both disease and infection attack our immunosuppression or weakened immune system. It is most prevalent in children in temperate climates. The temperate climates include Northeast countries and the U.S. It is most prevalent in adults in tropical areas. However, the adults most likely get the shingles or herpes zoster infection because um, it, the, it is a reactivated virus of varicella. The most prevalent seasons are spring and winter. Statistics. In the U.S., before the Varicella vaccine was licensed in 1995, there were 4 million cases per year, 11,000 hospitalizations, and 100 deaths. The disease is most common in children, however, 80% of the deaths were in adults. After the vaccine was licensed in 1995, numbers went down dramatically. Here is a chart of the United States and the coverage of one or more doses of Varicella in children of 1935 months in 2006. The very light green state are ones that have less than or great or equal to 84 percent of doses. Next is 85 to 89 percent, and then 94 to 90 to 94 percent, and then greater than or equal to 95 percent. Effects: the incubation period of uremia, where the virus um, is latent in the bloodstream, is 14 to 16 days. However, if the infected patient is already has a weakened immune um, system or suffering from another disease that creates immunosuppression can take as little as 10 days. The first symptoms are the fever, which is 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius that can go to 103 degrees Fahrenheit or 39.4 degrees Celsius. The patient may feel sick, tired, or sluggish. 
that have little to no appetite and will experience a headache or sore throat. These symptoms are mild in children, but can be even more severe in adults that have shingles or fever. Here is an image of a child who is suffering from the bar saw exhausted by a fever. Next comes the rash. It is the most, um, most well-known characteristic of bar saw, and it, and it um, happens one to two days after the first symptom. It causes lesions in the skin, and the rash cycle then occurs, which consists of blistering, bursting, drying, and crusting. Here is an image of one to two days of the first red spot beginning to occur. Next, from two to four days, the red spot begins to fill with pus. From four to six days, when the blisters are completely fully filled, they will then pop from six days on, and then will crust over. Extremes of symptoms. Bar cell can lead to death, and the rash covers all areas on the skin. Here's an image of a child that is diagnosed with mild bar cell, which many of Americans have today because of the vaccine. Here's an image of a child who is not given proper treatment or a vaccine, and is now possibly suffering death from bar cell. As you can see, he has a rash all over his face and on all parts of his body. Transmission. Bar saw is highly contagious. People can get infected from touching exposed pop blisters or being scratched with an option object carrying the virus. This is most commonly caused because if a child is scratching at sores and then it scratches someone else, then the bar saw exhausted virus is um, on their nails, which will then enter another person. This is a picture of a newborn that was infected because its mother, um, while carrying the child, was infected with bar saw. After it was born, five days after, it was then infected with bar saw as well, and is now experience, experiencing the extremes of the rash. Bar saw is an airborne disease. Someone can be infected by inhaling someone's infected coughs, sneezes, or sharing food and drinks. It can be transmitted even before the symptoms first occur. Here's a diagram of how infected droplets can um, spread in a building. First, if an infected person coughs, then it can go up to the vent, and then out, and then out to another vent, where another person can inhale it in an enclosed space. Or it can go through the doorway, and then another person can inhale it who is occupying the hallway. Diagnosis. Virus cell is diagnosed using the characters of coughs, of lesions, and the rash. No specific tests are needed. A doctor may examine a child and ask for symptoms. Healthy ch children, however, don't need an examination and can, for a period of time, result to at-home treatments. The diagnosis and early treatment is recommended for pregnant women. If this precaution is not taken, then birth defects are common, as seen in the child early before who experienced the rash. Prevention. The first vaccine was released in 1988 in Japan and Korea. In 1995, the vaccine was licensed and released in the United States. The vaccines use a weakened sample of the virus to stimulate the body to produce antibodies against the virus. From 1995 to 2000, there was a research project that was done in three communities in Tulip Valley, California, Travis County, Texas, and then West Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This, was docu this these, um, experiment was used to document the process of how well the vaccine was doing. The three common used vaccines for chicken pox are Axiclovir, Farfax, and Proflox. Treatments at home include bathing in oatmeal or applying calamine lotion. This reduces the itching, feeling, and swelling of fluid-filled blisters. Trimming of the fingernails can also prevent children from scratching their sores and infecting someone else. At home treatment is not normally prescribed for too long because without the booster dose, then a child can get a more severe um, rash. Here is a picture of calamine lotion. Conclusion. Keeping bar cells off the virus from manifesting itself in a human DNA has not been accomplished yet in the world of medicine. However, this doesn't keep researchers from studying a cure. The vaccine for bar cells off the virus would be a great accomplishment because of the length that bar cells off the virus has with it, branching infections and family herpes radio. Future research. The Columbia Bar Cells Also Research Group, led by Dr. Ann Gershon in 2002, helped develop the bar cell vaccine of today and proposed future research. They examine the development of infectious particles in vitro and define the role of envelope glycoproteins in the viral life cycle. <coughs> this envelope virus has the same characteristics as the virus cell infection. However, the envelope virus infects the sensory nerves without causing any damage and travels to the sensory ganglion where it becomes latent in the bloodstream. Recently, using an envelope virus, the researchers have been able to establish a latent infection in a guinea pig, small intestine neurons, what they call shingles in a pig.
Here's a diagram of how the envelope fires create the chicken pox rash and can it travel from the skin to the sensory nerves. From here, it becomes in the body. If reactivated, if reactivated, the virus travels from the sensory ganglia back to the skin where it causes the herpes zoster rash. Opinions, opinions of scientists. Dr. Ann Kirsten states that if we can get the virus to reactivate, that would be really exciting. She says that nobody has developed a true cell culture model of the virus, which would give us the ability to look at many phenomena such as the effect of anti drugs and biomedicine.